Welcome, friends. Thank you for joining me for this yoga session. Here at Results Fitness, I'm Coach Melanie, and I'll be guiding you through this yoga practice, where today we will be focusing on hips and thighs. So doing a little work to open our hips and thighs um, for all of us who have maybe been doing some strenuous workouts or simply been sitting a lot at our desk at home for work or sitting on the couch maybe, any of those things. So you will need your yoga mat for this practice. Also, um, a yoga block if you have one. If you don't have one, that's okay too. You don't need to have one, but it's helpful just to bring the floor up a little bit closer to you for those of us who may be a little bit tighter or have short arms or short legs. Either way, it's fine. So we'll be starting off on our backs with our knees hugged into our chest. So go ahead and make your way down onto your yoga mat and simply hug your knees into your chest. And give yourself a little hug, a little love here. Just simply allowing your body to begin to settle onto your yoga mat. Allowing your body to begin to settle onto the earth. Just taking some nice deep breaths in your nose and out your mouth. With each inhale and exhale, Allowing your body to soften a bit more. Letting go of any more tension that you're feeling. Just taking these first few moments of practice to settle in. So finding your body on your yoga mat. Bringing your mind and your body to connect here. by bringing awareness to your breathing. And go ahead and keep hold of your right knee now and extend your left leg long on your mat. You can circle that ankle a little bit, roll it out side to side, get all those little snap, crackle pops out. Maybe flex and fan the foot a little bit, the toes. Sending your breath into your right leg, creating the space. Taking another deep breath in and a long breath out. And then go ahead and grab onto the back of your right leg and with your next inhale, extend your right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Gently pulling your right leg in towards you so you get that stretch in the back of your right leg and hamstring. From here, again, you can circle out your ankle a little bit one way, and then maybe go the opposite direction. You can flex and fan the toes. Oh yeah, I'm getting a couple snap crackle pops out there. Spending a little time here, giving those hamstrings a little time to open. both knees back into your chest. A little squeeze. This time, keep hold of your left knee and extend your right leg long on your mat. Really push down through the back of your right leg as you hug your left knee in. Again, you can do what you want with your ankle here. I kind of like to circle it around a little bit. Wherever you're at though, just taking those nice deep breaths in and long breaths out. With your next inhale, bring your hands behind your left thigh and extend your left leg up towards the ceiling. Again, gently pull your left leg in towards you and circle out your ankle, maybe. Maybe flex and fan the foot a little bit. Spread the toes nice and wide, what we call yogi toes. So lots of space between the foot, the toes, yeah, really getting in there. A little open.
opening for the back of your left leg and hamstring. Take another deep breath in and long breath out. Go ahead and hug both knees back into your chest. Grab onto the back of your thighs and rock yourself forward to a seated position. So go ahead and cross your ankles and take what's called Sukhasan Easy Seat. Ground down through your sit bones here. Nice tall spine so your shoulders are right over your hips and your shoulders are down and away from your ears. Inhale and lift your arms up overhead. Now on your exhale, interlace your fingers together and push the palms of your hands up towards the ceiling. Take a nice deep breath in here. On your exhale, push your palms forward. Really pull the shoulder blades apart. So this is a cow pose, but we're doing it seated. Inhale and lift your arms high again. Pull your heart and chest through your arms for a cow pose. And then on your exhale, go ahead, pull those shoulder blades apart, cat pose. So this is a seated cat cow. Inhale, lift the arms high, pull your chest forward in between your arms. Exhale, find that cat. Really pull the shoulder blades apart, round the spine. We'll do one more here. Inhale and reach the arms high. Exhale to your cat pose. Inhale and reach the arms high. On your exhale, release your hands, allow them to soften down towards your sides. And then find your way into a tabletop pose. So all fours, fingers remain wide, shoulders over wrists, knees right underneath your hips. From here, you can sway your hips a little bit side to side, just releasing any tension you're holding in the hips, in the shoulders a little bit. Maybe shake your head a little, yes and no. Releasing wherever it needs to be released. Yeah, you can move around here in any way that feels good. I like doing some little weird movements just to find my way into my body. So no one's around, it's just you on your yoga mat, so feel free to be weird about it if you need to. Just like to figure out where my shoulders, my hips are in any given moment when I'm practicing. And then find your way back to that neutral spine. Open your fingers wide so your whole palm connects to your yoga mat. From here, curl your toes under, take a nice deep breath in, and then on your exhale, push your hips up and back for your downward facing dog. In down dog, your fingers are open wide, your hands are at least shoulder width apart. You can separate them wider. If you got tightness in your shoulders and upper back like I do, I'll bring my pinkies all the way to the edges of my mat, connecting to my yoga mat, to the earth. There's a little bend in the elbows here so you can squeeze your shoulder blades together onto your back. Looking back at your feet about hip distance apart, so about two fists between your big toes, maybe a little less. There's a bend in your knees here, maybe a deep one, maybe a slight one, but there's definitely a bend. So you can push the weight up and out of your shoulders, down and back towards your heels, finding that length in your spine. You can move around here in your dog in a way that feels nice. So what we call walking the dog, bending a knee really deeply, and then pushing the opposite heel down and back. So you're getting that opening through the back of the legs, the calf muscles. Maybe you want to come to the tips of your toes and then push down and back through your heels. Maybe you want to roll to a high plank and then back to a downward facing dog. So working your way into this down dog, doing any of your little fidgety movements that you need to do to find your way into your body. Down dog becomes a resting pose in your practice. So you want to make sure that you're working your way into that down dog. So that when we come to it throughout the practice, it'll be nice and solid. Eventually you'll settle into stillness, allowing your breath to be the only thing moving your body. Taking nice deep breaths in and long breaths out. With your next inhale, use your whole inhale to lift your right leg high with an internal rotation. So your right hip and your right toes are pointing down, flexing and fanning the toes of your right foot like you're standing on the back wall. Pushing the weight up and out of your shoulders, down and back into your left heel as you lift your right leg higher with an inhale. On your exhale, bend your right knee, 
Go ahead and stack your right hip on top of the left. Continue to square your right shoulder down to the earth as you pull your left hip up and back. Getting leg through both side bodies. Inhale as you lift it up a little bit higher. On your exhale, pull your knee into your nose. Keep it there. Inhale and look forward. On your exhale, step your right foot forward in between your hands. Spin your back heel flat. So your right toes are pointing forward towards the front of your mat. Your left toes are pointing towards the left front corner of your mat. On your inhale, rise to a warrior one. Front knee is right over the ankle. Left hip is pulling forward, right hip is pulling back. Bending into your front knee so it's right over that ankle. Nice neutral pelvis, hugging your belly in, dropping your tail straight down. Lower half of your body is pushing down and forward. Upper half of your body is pulling up and out. Pulling the energy from your feet all the way up through your fingertips. Softening your shoulders away from your ears. Taking a nice deep breath in and a long breath out. Breathing in, breathing out. One more big breath in. On your exhale, open up, find your warrior two. So you can separate your feet a little further apart in your warrior two. Your right toes are still pointing forward. Your left foot's now parallel to the back edge of your mat. You're still bending deeply into the front knee so it's over the ankle, and your right heel is intersecting the arch of your left foot. Nice neutral pelvis here. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, but then soften them down your back. Gaze over your right fingertips. And take a nice deep breath in, and a long breath out. Breathing in, breathing out. One more big breath in. Exhale, sink a little deeper into your legs. And with your next inhale, reverse your warrior. So your left, arm, yeah, your left arm slides down your back leg and your right arm reaches high. Keeping that deep bend in the front knee, so you're getting that nice opening through the right side body. It's more about pulling up and out of your pelvis here than it is about going back. Taking a nice deep breath in and a long breath out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more big breath in. Exhale to your warrior two. And then on your inhale, start to straighten your front leg. On your exhale, pull your right fingertips forward and find Trikonasana Triangle Pose. So your right hand can come to your right shin, or if you do have that yoga block, you can bring it to the inside or outside of your right leg. So you're stacking your left shoulder over the right, and you're rotating your right lung, that's the lower lung, up towards the ceiling as you push your hips straight forward. Straightening the front leg to your degree, but not locking out the knee joint completely. So there's always a little give there. Opening up through the heart and chest. Taking a nice deep breath in. And a long breath out. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more big breath in. On your exhale, bring your left fingertips down to the earth. Now half your left foot, the back foot, up and forward. So both sets of toes point forward and both heels are down. So you might need to hop that left foot up substantially to get to that point. From here, find a halfway lift over your right leg and then on your exhale, pull forward over your right leg for pyramid pose. You can always use that in yoga block here if the floor is a little too far away and stay more in this halfway lift. Either way, you're pulling your right hip up and back and your left hip down and forward. Getting that nice stretch in the back of your right leg, your hamstrings. But always remembering that deeper doesn't mean better, it just means deeper. So not forcing yourself all the way down if it doesn't feel good to your body. Yeah, invite the crown of your head down and your sit bones up and back. Taking some nice deep breaths in and long breaths out. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale and find a halfway lift over your right leg. 
On your exhale, start to walk your fingertips over to the left side of your mat. Spin your toes in and your heels out for a nice wide-legged straddle here. Grab onto your big toes with your peace fingers. So your first two fingers and your thumb, wrap them around your big toes. On your inhale, find a halfway lift, nice long spine. And then on your exhale, fold forward over your legs. Using this bind between your hands and your feet to invite the crown of your head down and your sit bones high. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and let it go. Using your breath, you're creating space in the back body, separating the sit bones nice and wide. I know that sounds like a weird cue, but that's where you want to feel this pose, in the back body. Pushing through the outer edges of your feet, inviting the crown of the head down and those sit bones high. Take another deep breath in and a long breath out. One more, breathe in. On your exhale, release your hands from your feet. Find that halfway lift on an inhale. Maybe grab your block again if you need it here. Keep your left hand down on your block or on the ground. And with your inhale, lift your right arm all the way up for a twist. On your inhale, you get a little bit longer. On your exhale, you twist. Breathe in. Exhale and twist. One more deep breath in. Exhale, twist. Breathe in. And with this exhale, go ahead and slowly release. Pull forward over your legs. Inhale and find a halfway lift here. Now on your exhale, keep your right hand down. And with your next inhale, reach your left arm all the way up towards the ceiling. So there might be a little bend in the right knee here, and that's fine. On your inhale, you get longer. On your exhale, you twist. Breathe in. Exhale and twist. One more big breath in. Exhale and release. Fold forward over your legs. Inhale to a halfway lift. Now on your exhale, start to walk yourself back towards the top of your mat. Right toes will spin forward, left toes will spin forward. Plant your hands, take a big breath in. On your exhale, step your left foot forward to meet the right. On your inhale, find a halfway lift. Nice long spine. Exhale and fold over your legs. Separate your feet, hip distance apart. Grab onto your big toes with your peace fingers. Inhale and find a halfway lift in a nice long spine, and then exhale and fold over your legs. Again, using this bind between hands and feet to invite the crown of your head down and your sit bones high. Creating length through both legs, through both hamstrings. Take a nice deep breath in and a long breath out. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more big breath in. Exhale, release your hands from your feet. So heel your feet back together. Big toes come to touch. With your inhale, find a halfway lift. On your exhale, find a high plank. Plant your hands, step your feet back. Take a nice deep breath in right here. And then on your exhale, push your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in. And a long breath out. With your next inhale, use your whole inhale, lift your left leg high with an internal rotation. So your left hip and your left toes will be pointing down, flexing and fanning the toes of your left foot like you're standing on the back wall. Inhaling as you lift your left leg up a little bit higher, and then on your exhale, bend your left knee, go ahead and stack your left hip on top of the right. Continue to square your left shoulder down as you pull your right hip up and back. So you're getting length through both side bodies. Inhale as you lift your left knee up higher. Exhale and pull your left knee into your nose. Keep it there. Inhale and look forward. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Back heel spins flat. Inhale and rise to your warrior one. Left toes are still pointing forward towards the front of your mat. Right toes are pointing forward towards the right front corner of your mat. So you're spinning your right hip forward, left hip back. 
bending into the front knee so it's right over the ankle, hugging your belly in, dropping your tail straight down. Lower half of your body, pushing down and forward. Upper half, pulling up and out. Take a nice deep breath in and a long breath out. Breathe in. On your exhale, open up, find warrior two. Left toes are still pointing forward. Right foot's now parallel to the back of your mat. Nice long line of energy from your fingertips. Soften your shoulders down away from your ears. Take a nice deep breath in and a long breath out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep your legs exactly the same. With your inhale, reverse your warrior. Right arm slides down the back leg, left arm reaches high. Keep that deep bend in the front knee so it's right over the ankle and getting all that luscious space through the left side of your body. Take a nice deep breath in and a long breath out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more big breath in. On your exhale, find warrior two. On your inhale, start to straighten your front leg. On your exhale, pull your left fingertips forward and find triangle pose, trikonasana. So again, your left hand can come down to your left shin or if you have that yoga block, you can place it inside or outside of your left leg. From here, you're stacking your right shoulder over the left and you're pushing your hips straight forward as you rotate that left lung, the lower lung, up towards the ceiling. Getting that nice stretch in the back of your left leg. Taking a nice deep breath in and a long breath out. Breathing in and breathing out. One more big breath in. On your exhale, release your right fingertips down to the earth. Hop your right foot up and out to the right. Enough so, so that both sets of toes point forward and both heels can be down. So you might have to hop that right foot up substantially here. On your inhale, find a halfway leg lift, a nice long spine over your left leg, and then on your exhale, pull forward. Again, you can always use that yoga block. If the ground is a little too far away, you can hang out right here in this halfway lift. Either way is fine. Do what's best for your hamstrings, for your body. Either way, you're pulling the left hip up and back, the right hip down and forward. Sending breath into the back of your left leg. Taking some nice deep breaths in and long breaths out. Breathing in, breathing out. One more big breath in, long breath out. Inhale and find a halfway lift. On your exhale, start to walk your fingertips around to the right side of your mat now. Toes are in, heels are out, so nice wide-legged straddle again. On your inhale, find a halfway lift, and on your exhale, fold forward over your legs. Push to the outer edges of your feet as you invite the crown of your head down and your sit bones high. If going too far forward is a lot for your body, stay in this halfway lift. You can use your block and hang out right here. You'll still get that nice stretch in the back of your legs and hamstrings but you'll protect your body. It's okay if you're shaking and quaking a little bit. My hamstrings definitely are. That means we're just releasing all of that tension that we're holding there. So see if you can breathe a little bit more and think about it a little bit less. Take a nice deep breath in. Place for your block. You can place it right underneath your bottom 
and take a supported goddess. Wherever you're at, you're pulling your heart towards your thumbs and you're opening up through the inner hips and thighs using your elbows. Nice tall spine here. Breathing in and breathing out. Deep breath in, long breath out. One more, breathe in. On your exhale, release your fingertips to the earth. Inhale as you lift your hips high. And then toe heel your feet all the way back together so your big toes come to touch. On your inhale, find a halfway lift. On your exhale, step back to your high plank. Take a nice deep breath in here. And then on your exhale, push your hips up and back for your downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and let it go. Bring your knees down to the earth one at a time in between your hands. Cross over your ankles and come to sit on your bottom. So we're going to take butterfly pose or Baddha Konasana. So you'll bring the soles of your feet together and use your elbows to help you open your knees wide. So nice, tall, long spine. Bring your hands to your feet. Open up your feet like a little book. Yeah, take a nice deep breath in. And then on your exhale, you can start to fold forward over your legs. And you might not go very far. And you want to think about placing your heart right there in that little book. So you're keeping a nice long, low back and spine. Take a nice deep breath in and a long breath out. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale and slowly start to come up. Now move your feet a little more away from you. So a couple more inches away. So a little wider angle with your legs. On your inhale, get a nice tall spine and then on your exhale, start to fold. Again, trying to think about placing your heart right on that little book of your feet. Softening your knees down towards the earth and breathing into your inner hips and thighs. Taking nice deep breaths in and long breaths out. Inhale and slowly come back up. Separate your feet even further away from you. So side them forward a couple more inches. So nice like diamond pattern with your legs. From here you might need to grab onto your ankles. Nice tall spine, take a deep breath in. And then on your exhale, go ahead and fold forward. I feel this all the way up into my hips and the outer upper hip area, real deep into those IT bands that run alongside of our legs and thighs. distance apart, arms open wide, palms face up, 
Integrate your shoulder blades together underneath you so that your heart and your chest can stay wide open. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and let it go. Letting go of any remaining tension that you may be holding in your body. Allowing your whole body to soften into the earth. People are often unreasonable, illogical, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are honest and frank, people may cheat you. Be honest anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, they may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today may be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough. Give your best anyway. For you see, in the end, it is between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. And very slowly begin to deepen your breath. Gently allowing some movement back into your fingers, back into your toes. Maybe stretching your arms up overhead, taking a nice full body stretch if that feels good for your body. As you're ready, hugging your knees into your chest and rolling off to whichever side seems to call to you in this moment. Using your hands, gently pushing yourself up to a seated position at the top of your mat with your eyes remaining closed and your hands falling to Anjali Mudra Heart Center our mudra of gratitude. Taking a moment here to honor yourself. Honor everyone who chooses to come and share their yoga practice here. I'm grateful to each and every one of you who comes here and shares your practice with me. Bringing your thumb knuckles to your third eye center. The light in me honors and recognizes the light in you. Together we say, Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to drink some water. Before you have your wine or your beer, you'll have a little water. Thanks again. I hope to see you all soon.